So in this video, we're looking at dividends. Now, remember that when you buy shares in a company, what effectively happens is you become an owner in that company. Only a very small owner in that company. If you bought shares in Apple, you wouldn't be a very important owner, but you're an owner nonetheless. Uh, that means that you may be entitled to some profits that that company makes. Uh, let's see how, how to calculate how much profit or dividends you should get for your shares. Uh, let's look at this question. The company has an after-tax profit of $34.2 million. That's how much money they made in a the year. There are 90 million shares in the company. Uh, what dividend will the company declare if all the profits are distributed to the shareholders? So all the profits are distributed. Sometimes all the profits are distributed because the company keeps them to grow the business or, or buy something or do something with that profit. Uh, let's see how we figure that out. The dividend for this will be the profit they make divided by the number of shares. Now in this question, it's going to be 34.2 million, so 34 million 200 thousand. Careful with your zeros. Divided by 90 million. Okay, type that into your calculator. Again, careful typing in all the zeros. Okay, and you'll get an answer there of 0.38. That means that for every share that you own in this company, you'll get 38 cents per share. Okay, so if you own 100 shares, you'll get 100 times 38 cents. If you own 1,000, you'll get 1,000 times 38 cents. Uh, that's calculating dividends.